Hello there go and welcome back to my channel and this is your June reading from Anything Spiritual. I'd just like to say a big thank you for all the support my channel receives. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, it really does help the momentum. The Hanged Man. So Virgo, are you paused at the moment while you're looking into things? You're a star sign anyway that pays attention to small details. So you don't rush. You need to build your trust with things. So here you are, pausing, hanging around, taking your time with something. Virgo, being the typical you, you're having a good look at everything from all directions. The King of Wands coming out now. And the King of Wands can be about something starting, changing, finishing. Again, they both look sort of paused in this card. There's, there definitely seems to be this paused film here. A uh, theme, should I say, with the hanged man and with the king of wands. It's like the lion is standing strong in the background, waiting for what else is to come. You've got the strength that's needed for whatever it is you want to do. To me, the lions are about strength. So Virgo, it's saying you're strong enough for whatever it is you want to do. And look at this, the Ten of Swords, completion. So something's definitely completed. Something in your life has come to a completion. Could be anything. With that being swords, swords could be an argument. Swords could be the way you think about something. So you've perhaps changed how you're going to think, how you're going to react, how you're going to deal with something. Remember, these are general cards and they resonate with everybody differently. So Virgo, what's changed for you? What have you decided you're going to stop doing? What's come to an end for you? The Three of Cups. People coming together and being happier. Could an issue, an argument. For some of you, it may be that you've made a truce with somebody, you've made up with somebody, you've decided you're fed up of arguing. This being a wands, could it be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo or Sag? So Virgo, have you decided that you're going to either walk away from someone or you're going to stop arguing with them? You're going to let something go. You're going to say, I don't want to worry about this or get upset about it anymore. You want a clear mind. So you're letting something go. You're not letting it bother you anymore. You're going to carry on getting together with people. You just want to feel happy. And now the next card out, the Page of Pentacles. Pages can often be offers coming to you as well or good messages good news and the page of pentacles could be good news about money so it could be for some of you if you've had a money problem you're going to stop worrying about the money because good news is coming in in june for you so you know you know it could be a change of a job it could be more money coming in and as i'm saying that the ace of pentacles new money wow could new money coming in stop some of your worries, Virgo? You are an earth sign. So obviously, money for you is stability, foundations. Being an earth sign, you like to know where you are. You like to have good foundations. You like to feel stable. So for me, this reading is definitely saying that you're going to start to feel happier about something. The Ace of Thoughts, New Thoughts, the Ace of Pentacles, New Money. Something coming in for you in June, something ending and a new beginning means you're going to feel a lot happier about something. New thoughts, new feelings, could be a new job, could be new money, could be new opportunities. But it's good, it's positive and it means you're sort of turning a corner. It means you're starting a new phase. It means you can stop that worrying. It means you can feel balanced. It means, you know, you've got good foundations. So it certainly seems like a money situation for you getting better. A money situation improving. A money situation giving you the confidence of stability. 
So good news regarding money, Virgo. Let's pull a guardian angel card and see what your guardian angels have to say to you. Don't forget to comment below and let me know if this has resonated with you. I really do hope that you get the money, you get the abundance, you get what you need to help you feel safe and secure. The two abundance is your guardian angel message. And your guardian angels are saying, life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change for your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. So this is a card telling you that success is coming. This is a card that's telling you that you have been feeling a little bit down and things have been out of balance, but we know they're coming back in again. We know by the end of June, you're going to be feeling more stable. Something good is coming in for you, Virgo, to take you out of feeling unbalanced, to take you out of that negative feeling. And it's bringing in these positive, safer, balanced, secure new beginning feelings, new inspiration coming to you. You're definitely going to get rid of that negative feeling. Remember, stay positive, stay in touch with your inner child, stay as playful as possible. Good luck, Virgo. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.